This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is brought to you by Starboy's Juices. Infusing fruits with sea moss in Philadelphia and New Jersey. Refreshing and nutritious. Call Starboys at 1267 904 3454. That's 1267 904 3454. Hi, everybody. I'm Darren Moore, and you're watching Reggae Boys Country. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. How is everybody Moore. doing? I'm Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the platform where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. Hope everybody has a peaceful weekend that lies ahead. I hope that you all get to, you know, accomplish everything that you set out to do. And for those, you know, I won't use this time. It's a time of reflection, time for gratitude. So... I hope that you all are utilize that and <clears throat> are able to utilize that to the best of your abilities. So let's talk more about players. I know that you guys have questions. I know there are questions about Demari Gray. I know there are questions about Nathan Ferguson. I will be doing a separate video in relation to one of those two players. But certainly if you have questions, please, you can proceed. But I want to talk about a young man that has been doing quite well. And this is a young man that is 18 years of age and has been scoring goals for fun. This young man has been doing an absolutely fantastic, fantastic job as a centre half, centre forward, I should say. And who is this individual in particular? Well, I'm going to show you his face so you can get acquainted with him. And then we'll get right into the details in relation to him in particular. So that man that you see on your screen right now, is none other than Dijon Brown. So who is Dijon Brown? Dijon Brown is a center forward who plays for Derby County. Now, he has been impressing really well in the academy, and this has led to him being promoted to the first team of Derby County Football Club. That is what has happened based on his performances in particular. How good are his performances? Well, in the under-18s, under-18 Premier League this season, eight appearances, eight goals, one assist. Eight appearances, eight goals, one assist. So nine goal involvements in eight appearances. He made the progression from Derby's youth team to the under-18s. And he's already training with the first team of Derby County Football Club in League One. Training with the first team. And the head coach of Derby County right now is Paul Warren. And as you know, Paul Warren spent some time at Wigan Athletic and Rotherham. So this is what the manager, Paul Warren, had to say about Jean Brown. Dijon is an absolutely fantastic talent, and we're absolutely privileged to have him at our football club. He may only be a teenager, but he's already putting in performances that would merit a spot to be involved within the first team. I have no doubt in my mind that his opportunities within the first team will come quite soon, and I can't wait to integrate him more within first team training sessions. He's rubbing shoulders with Nathaniel Mendes-Leng, 
Corey Smith, Liam Thompson, Louis Sibley, Louis Dibion, Scott Loach, Richard Stearman, Darren Robinson, Curtis Davis, Jake Rooney. He's rubbing shoulders with all of these individuals. All of them. That's what he's doing. Joe Wilsmith, Craig Forsyth. All of these individuals. He's having an impact around all of them. Every single one of them. So where are we talking about this man right here? Dejon Brown. Look at his face. Remember the face. Because he's doing incredibly well in the goal scoring department. Hold up play, improving. Decision making in front of goal, excellent. The use of both feet, good. Very good, I should say. So it's coming to come. And if you look where Derby County are right now, within League One, we spoke about this briefly last night when we had conversations in relation to Mendes Leng. But look where Derby County are right now. They're seventh in, the, in, in League One, 67 points. Goal difference alone is what is denying them to be outside of the playoff positions. Imagine having that young Dijon Brown, nil-nil, 83 minutes on the clock. You bring him on. And he gets you the goal that gets you to the playoffs. He's the, he gets you the goal that gets you to the championship. That's the sort of individual that is doing great, great things. Wayne Carnegie says, nice. He's doing great things. And, and for those of you that are just tuning in, please hit the like button. And after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys Commentary. All right, guys, hit the like button. And after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys Commentary. All right, we have more content that will be coming your way as well. As I said, I'll be doing some more what is the deals for you guys so that you're fully aware about everything that is also happening as well. So I want you to stay, stay tuned for that so that you are kept abreast of everything as well. So please hit the bell, hit the notification bell. So that you guys are fully aware about it okay so give me your thoughts and we'll progress forward from it all right so we can we can do that come on guys almost 50 of you guys watching and only 10 likes hit the like button no 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 you guys know what to do hit the like button no 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 it's as simple as that just hit the like button no 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 good now that we have that sorted dejon brown he operates as a center forward, and that is the position that he has been operating in since being at the team. Has he played in the Premier League 2? Yes, he has played in Premier League 2. And what are his numbers like? He's made two appearances. He scored one goal and played 127 minutes. That's right. Even though he didn't play in the FA Cup, he was involved in terms of the build-up. Match day squad. Training. Traveling, warm up. He's been involved in that sort of aspect as well. In the under 18s, eight games, eight goals, one assist, averaging 79 minutes per game in those appearances that he is taking home. You know what I'm saying? So let that sink in right there. Wayne Carney says, says, yeah, man, hit the like button. All right, guys. Yeah. I see a couple of questions coming in, and I'm going to take that right now for sure. So, yep, this is the situation now. Ramoyer Reed says, Simon, question. I feel like Omar Hutchinson's future lays centrally as a winger. He lacks the vertical explosiveness needed. But centrally, as a central attacking midfielder, or a left central midfielder in a 4 3 could be natural heir to DJ. Hmm.
Future lays centrally. As a winger, he likes the vertical explosiveness, but centrally as a fan. And Ramoy, you know, he's somebody that is always on the ball, holding it, good ball retention, looking for things to happen. Now, for me, I'm not going to dismiss him right now and say that Amari Hutchinson cannot be a wide forward in the future. I'm not going to dis I'm not going to brush that aside right now. I like his technical qualities, and I'm not going to limit him to one position, one area of the pitch right now. We could have this conversation maybe three years down the road, but not right now. I want to see what he can do as a 10. I want to see what he could do on the left side of a front three. I want to see those aspects, but I'm not right now going to limit him. I take your point in terms of the explosiveness that is needed, but I still feel that that is something that can be developed in his acumen. I definitely feel that that is something that can be developed within his arsenal. So I'm not going to brush that aside at all, Ramoy. I still feel that that aspect that you've made mention about, he has the potential to get there. So when he's 21, 22, if that is something that we're not seeing consistently, then I could say, okay, maybe central attack in midfield is the area for him. But I would, I'm not going to be quick to deny that right now because... He's still at a stage where, yes, he's a professional football player, but he's still also still learning his craft. And I think 100 games as a professional footballer is what you need to set the tone for who you are, where are you going, what is the next step? Are you really going to be at that level? Are you going to be at the tier below? So for me, that's how I feel about the situation with Amari Hutchinson. But this is... Dejan Brown. So, yeah. Yeah. So, that's the situation. This is Dejan Brown for those of you that are just tuning in. If you are just tuning in, please hit the like button. And after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys Commentary. All right, folks, hit the like button. And after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys Commentary. All right, guys? Dejan Brown, eight goals, eight appearances at this point in time. That's right. At this point in time, operating at his club, Derby County. That's the under-18s. Coming along well, showing <clears throat> excellent signs. So what is the deal? So Dejan Brown has Jamaican heritage. One of the main reasons why we are discussing him. He has Jamaican heritage. He is his parents, born on the island. So, what is the deal? What is the deal with Dejan Brown? The deal is this. Dejan Brown would love to play for Jamaica. Even if it means it's the under-20s, and then he works his place up. But he would relish the opportunity to represent Jamaica. Simon Preston's opinion? I think he would do an exceptional job in the under-20s. An exceptional job. That's how I feel about him. I think he'd be ready for the under-20s. And if they're if the under-20s, by the time that that training camp comes around, overlaps with senior team commitments, I wouldn't mind having him being part of one or two training sessions with the first team. I'm not saying give Dejan Brown his debut for the Reggae Boys tomorrow morning. I'm saying the under-20s, absolutely. Absolutely. 150% on board with that. That's how I feel. That's my thoughts about it. Rihanna's Roblox story. Send Melissa deal. Send the Melissa deal. I really don't understand what you're saying there, but yeah, that's where we are. Hmm, interesting. Melissa's deal. I don't get it. But yes, folks, this is Dejan Brown. And guys, I, I encourage you again, please 
hit the like button. Now, after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button right now. All right? Hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys Commentary right now. Hit the hit the like button. No, no, no. All right? I'm waiting for you guys. I'm waiting for you guys. Hit the button. No, no, no. All right? I'm waiting. Go ahead. And you guys know any questions that you may have, you use the Super Chat feature and Super Stickers and Super Thanks to be able to communicate in relation to anything that you have to say. Questions, comments, feedback. So looking forward to, to, to what you guys have to say. Rihanna Roblox story. Greenwood South. What do you mean? No, Mason Greenwood does not have a Jamaican passport. Mason Greenwood has not started the process to apply for a Jamaican passport. Mason Greenwood's agent, father, wants him to focus on his return to club football his return to club football and then he'll talk about international assignments but right now the priority is that's right club football that's the priority right now for mason and his dad shavar castle i would love to see the Great play for jamaica i would love to you know, it's somebody that we've spoken about so much on the channel. And I think the most asked question is, is DeMar Gray going to be called up for Nations League? <laughs> we've heard that question quite so often. Will DeMar Gray be involved against Mexico? Will DeMar Gray be involved against Argentina, Cameroon? We've heard that question on so many different occasions. You know what I'm saying? We've heard that so often. Yeah. But guys, what I will say to you is that everything falls into place in time. So again, it's going to go back to the point in relation to patience. So that's what we're going to need. So yeah, that's what I said. Winston Fallen says, Winston, I think it's important to let people know the updates. Okay. Doesn't have a Jamaican passport, but has started a process. Okay. Doesn't have a Jamaican passport and hasn't started a process, but is interested to play for Jamaica. I think we have to look at these things from different angles. Those that have passports, those that are close to passports, those that are working on passports, those that haven't started a process, but are interested to represent Jamaica. I do think that that sort of tier is imperative so i don't think we should be brushing aside information of that nature so all right so that is what i'll say where that is concerned we can't turn a blind eye to that at all so hopefully you get the drift yeah because that is that's the situation there okay Yep, so this is Dijon Brown, okay? Dijon Brown. As I said, guys, I'll be doing another What is the Deal later today, and I want you guys to pay keen and special attention to that. It's in relation to a Premier League player, 
so you guys can keep abreast of things, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you'll be the first to be notified in relation to that what is the deal that I'll be doing later today in relation to another Premier League player, all right, so that you're kept abreast of him and others around, okay? So hopefully this information in relation to Dijon Brown was helpful to you guys, that you were able to understand it fluently and were able to process the next step from here, what is needed, you know what I'm saying? So you guys are fully keen on this, okay? Yeah, man. Big up, big up Wayne Carnegie. Big up yourself. I hope you're doing good, man. So, guys, please hit the like button. Get this video to minimum, minimum 200 likes, okay? A thousand of you guys are going to watch this video. Come on, guys. Hit the like button. All right, guys? Hit the like button. Subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. Okay, guys? And see you later with another What is the Deal? This video is brought to you by Starboys Juices. Infusing fruits with sea moss in Philadelphia and New Jersey. Refreshing and nutritious. Call Starboys at 1267 904 3454. That's 1267 904 3454. This video is brought to you by. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Hi everybody, I'm Darren Moore. And you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Hi, my name is Lee Williamson. Subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Hi, my name is Joby McEnough. Subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. I'm Javon Watson, and you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Skin clean and nice and ting and ting. I'm Tiffany Kim. <laughs> I'm Tiffany Cannon, Reggae Girl Striker, and you are watching the Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hi, I'm Chris Binney, and I'm Jamaica's number one squash player and nine-time Caribbean champion, and you're watching the Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button below.